Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Laura with Planet Goals and Crafting. Um, if you would like, I would always appreciate a comment, like, and or subscribe uh, for more planning and crafting content. Um, I have a lot of hauls, recent hauls, if you'd look back in my videos. Um, and I would love to have you guys follow me along. Um, I'm basically building up my stash and then trying out different crafts and projects as I go along. Um, I'm going to share one with you hopefully soon. Um, but anyway, let's jump into today's haul. This one is from Dollar Tree. Um, some of it's organization, a lot of it is crafting, um, and just a lot of different cute things that I've found recently. So anyway, um, my craft room, I've gotten a lot of things that are like clear and white and gray. Um, for my storage and I needed something that was kind of tall to fit um, some rolls of vinyl. So I got these two little baskets here and then I got found these just laying around. Um, so I don't think there are any more of them, but uh, these two little tiny baskets, um, the two-tone gray, which I love. Um, I got those two. Then I got four of these boxes with the lids. Um, so two clear and two gray. Um, I'm needing some smaller storage for different things and like embellishments and ribbon and stuff like that. So I got four of these. And then I also got four of these as well. So two each of these clear with the uh, handles and then these gray with the handles. I wish I had some that were a little bit bigger than this but this works for now and I've got a bunch of other different sized um, totes that I got from Target that I'm going to use as well. Um, I went back and a lot of the t-shirts that they had were gone but I got a couple extra that I thought I could use. These are small, and these are all the Gildan brand, I think. Or this one's American Apparel. So anyway, these are two of the fitted small ladies v-necks in black. Those would be cute to put some pumpkins on. Um, these are super soft. Um, these little youth tees. Um, I don't know that this would fit my son, but it would be perfect if it did. And I could put something on it like like mom's Bubba or something like that, because I call him Bubba. Okay, and then I found some other colors of vinyl that I didn't see last time. So I got one white and then two of the black glitter, which I saw online and I'm really glad that I found it this time. I also found this permanent writable white sticker. It seems like it's a vinyl sticker. It says you can put it in your die cutting machine. Yeah, so this is like almost like a white label. But yeah, it's got that thick backing. And you can do your own drawings or print on it and cut it. And they had a couple of other shapes for these. Um, let's see. These craft scissors. So like this one's got like that wave type of look, like an ocean type wave. And then this one's just a zigzag, or that could be like scallop, I guess. And this one's a zigzag. They had some others, I think, just like long waves um, and something else that I didn't really care for. They also had a bunch of stamps. Um, there are a few that I didn't get that just weren't my style, but this one's cute with the um, butterflies and ladybugs and bees and dragonflies and flowers. And then llamas. Who doesn't love llamas? This one looks like it was for Valentine's, but it's still really cute. And then these really pretty birds. I love hummingbirds. Um, these would be pretty to use on 
greeting cards or tags. Um, they have some of these, um, looks like they're thick chipboard or maybe even wood. No, I think they're probably chipboard. Uh, I thought these would be great for Christmas. Um, these are almost like, this one's almost like a snowflake, but definitely Christmas type. And then some more cute little birds. Definitely a hummingbird there. I love these. They're so pretty. Um, they have some dry erase labels, which I want to use in my planner. And then these tiny little pocket um, label holders. I have some larger ones that I put on some of my crafting things so I can see what it is. And I can also change out the names, but these would be perfect for my smaller bins that I just have here that I showed you. Um, cute little bows that I want to use on some uh, Christmas packaging that I'm making. Some glitter that would be great with um, Christmas crafts or a snow globe that I'm making with my son. And then these thinking of using these for like co-worker gifts this one came in a set of two notebooks um so you've got two gifts that you could do here um and you could repurpose or refashion the covers this one i liked it more for the background not necessarily for the saying so that i could probably cover um and personalize it for somebody this is a cute size um, I did need a cutting mat. This is definitely a lot smaller than um, you would think would be useful, but this would be great for my smaller things and cards and stuff like that. And it's more portable. They had these right on removable index tabs. Um, also good for if you make your own planner dividers. Um, perfect for that so you don't have to fussy cut um those tabs um you may have seen in my last michael's haul that i got a bunch of little clothes pins that were different colors and some of that were even this color um these are 50 i think the most and the other ones i had were i don't know 25 30 of them for a dollar so anyway i thought i'd pick up a pack of those um, finger protectors. These are like metal thimbles. Uh, these are great for like the beading needles that I use. Um, so I picked up a huge, not huge, but a big canvas that I want to paint with, um, the black chalk paint, chalkboard paint that I got in, I think my last Dollar Tree haul and then a chalk writer. So my son can have a little chalkboard to play with. Um, this I hadn't seen. I'd seen it in different halls, and then I think I saw it online too. Um, the paper pack. This is great. Got a lot of the same colors in here. Only one glitter that I can see, and then a couple of shimmer. But these are great for just prototyping, and if you just need one color for a small thing. And then they had these plastic condiment cups, but I thought these would be great for glitter um, and to keep them separate or once you open it, just pour it in there so you're not making such a big mess. And I found these. These actually aren't that thick. These are those resealable zipper bags. Um, these are super thin. These are like thinner than sandwich bags. Um, so I wouldn't use these for selling anything, you know, putting jewelry in or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know what you would use them for, but, um, they're not very durable. So I don't know. I might just keep them to put some, you know, smaller things in. Um, and then got a pack of, I think it's five packs of sticky notes. Um, also want to use these for some coworker gifts and stuff like that. And the last thing that I found 
I thought these were really pretty. Um, these are those rub-on transfers. Um, I'd seen some people use different ones, like the Halloween ones. Um, these are really cute. They're that, like, gold. Not too metallic-y, but just more like a shimmer type. Um, they're just really pretty, and I wanted to try them on something. Maybe one of the journals that I bought um, that's pretty plain, but to kind of dress it up. Um, but anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. Um, again, any comments, likes, and or subscribes are always appreciated. And so I can keep bringing you more um, planner and crafting content. Um, I have another planner video um, in the works. That one's going to be a little bit longer one because I want to show you some different ways to use your planner. Um, but anyway, I hope you all are taking care and having a good day or night wherever you are. Um, so take care. Bye.